Okay, so before we get to the various different maps and locations, let me share three super important tips that you're going to need to know going into this ruin hunt, right? So number one, make sure you have at least five slots open in your bag. You're going to need two slots for items and three slots for the bu bugs that you're going to be picking up. The second tip and probably one of the most important tips is make a macro for each bug, right? What I did is I made a single target macro and I just, you know, went back and updated the macro for the various different bug that I was going for. I'm telling you right now, if you use this macro um, on your hot bar, when you get in the area of where, you know, whatever bug you're looking for is going to be, you're going to be able to target this bug from a long, I'm talking long distance, as you're going to see in this video. This is going to save you just so, so much time because these bugs are very tiny and very hard to see. And then the third tip that I learned after about the second bug, right, is I would strongly recommend that you track undead once you get in the area of the bug, right? This is going to clean your map so you're not going to be able to see anything. So that way when you use your macro and it targets the bug, you can actually use your hunter's mark and it'll glow a big old red dot on your map, making it very easy to see where the heck this little bug is. Uh, because a lot of times this little bug will be behind like say a bone or you know something where you can't really see it even though it's targeted um, you won't be able to see it but that hunter's mark makes it very very simple okay so the first thing you want to do is head to the swamp of sorrows to location 25.1 by 54.2 here you're going to find a neutral undead merchant and you'll be able to go through her quest line and then purchase the satchel that contains a book and the bug net that you're going to need to capture each bug. And don't forget, like I said earlier, you're going to need five empty slots in your bag. Because if you go to try catching a bug and you don't have an empty slot in your bag, you will not be able to capture that set bug. Okay, so now that we opened up the satchel and looted both items, let's head to Stratothorn Vale to get the first bug. Okay, so once you arrive at Stratothorn Vale, you want to go to the little logging camp at location 43.0 by 22.3. Now keep in mind that the bug that you're going to be catching here is called the Arbor Tarantula, so make sure that you're using the proper macro. Once you arrive at the logging camp, be very careful because the goblins actually blend in with the greenery. Simply use your macro and you should be able to find the spider fairly easy. Now keep in mind that you'll be able to locate this spider from a very long distance. So it's important that you use that hunter's ma uh, mark to help you find it easier. Uh, I didn't think about tracking undead at this point, but had I started tracking undead, it would have made things a lot easier because it would have been the only red dot on my mini map. As you can see here, the, the spider is so small that I can't even see it on the back log. But once I uh, pretty much figured out to use the mini map, it was very, very easy, making the rest of the bug catching in this ruin quest just so much faster. Okay, so after you catch your spider, let's head to Desolus for the next bug. Okay, so once you arrive in Desolus, head to the Bone Graveyard at 45.8 by 54.4. This is where you're going to find the next bug that you need to catch. Now keep in mind, if you haven't already done the Hunter Trap Launcher Ruin quest, this is also the area you're, you're going to need to go to to start that quest. I'll put a link to that quest in the top left corner of this video at the very end. Now keep in mind, the bug that you're going to be looking for is called the Flesh Picker, so make sure that you're using the proper macro. Okay, so once you arrive at the graveyard, make sure that you're tracking undead to make things easier. Simply use your macro and spam your hunter's mark until you find the bug. Once you catch the bug, we're going to head to the Rathi Highlands for the final capture of this quest. Okay, so the last bug that you need to catch is called a Hay Weevil, and it can be located in one of three farms as indicated on this map. Now, I landed at the refugee point and chose the closest farm that's the middle one right there with the circle, and I was able to find the uh, bug pretty easily. Now, keep in mind, make sure that you've already switched out your macro, so you're using the appropriate macro for the hay weevil. Okay, so if you're an alliance, this is going to be one of the easiest um, bugs that you're going to catch because all the mobs in this area are alliance mobs. Now, if you're a horde, you're probably going to have to fight your way around here once you finally find the map. But simply use your macro and the hunter's mark, and you should be able to find the bug fairly easy on your mini map. Simply capture the map and head back to the Swamps of Sorrows to the Undead Merchant again.
Once you arrive at the Swamps of Sorrows, just simply do your turn in uh, using the second uh, interaction bubble, and boom, she should give you your room. Simply look in your bag, and your room should be there. And just that easily, boom, you got your Rune of Invigoration. Congratulations. If this video was helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications for future videos. If you're a hunter that still needs the Trap Launcher Ruin Quest, click on the link on the top left of the screen for an awesome video that will take you step by step on how to get that ruin and if it's still glitched, how to fix the glitch so you can actually learn it.